What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. I appreciate it. Uh, a lot of you have been commenting actually and say, Mr. Ferguson, I can't believe how the water and the way your lawn is looking. It's just the transformation and the comeback is insane. And I totally agree with you guys. And uh, it's not me. I mean, uh, a lot of it has to do with we finally got rain. And, uh, and the other part that I did do is putting the sprinkler out and letting it run for longer amounts of time. Some of you earlier on this summer were saying, Mr. Ferguson, I'm not sure you're putting enough water. You know, you need to check that. And you guys were correct. And uh, I wasn't running my sprinkler long enough. And then sooner than later, uh, the, the dry spots would come back because we're not putting enough water down. It takes a ton of water. Um, but today, and the reason why I mention all of that and the way that it looks, as you see behind me, it looks pretty good, is I believe that it's helping by putting this GCI 505 mix down. And so I'm about to go to the shed and see exactly what I have and uh, get back with you guys here. But we're going to go ahead and spray the front yard and then we're going to do a, a watering today. And I want to put the mix down before I begin my watering. Uh, this week, we actually am blessed right now. The Lord has blessed me. It's a cloudy morning and uh, I'm able to go ahead and spray the front yard and then throw my sprinklers out, get the water down. The bad part is it's windy. So with my, you know, the, the sprinkler that goes way up in the air, it, it blows it all around and it sometimes can be tough to get water where you need it. I want to put down a little more of that 505. I just feel like it's helped. It's helped with the color to look right for summer. Um, it looks, you know, it's not all natural. It's not no nitrogen at all. It's a little bit of nitrogen. So it does uh, grow a little bit from the nitrogen, but I, I think it's made it look, it's made it look really well uh, for summertime. And obviously the main goal is not only to make it look good, that's a, that's a secondary priority. The main priority is to keep it alive. So let me go down here to the shed, get my stuff, and we'll reconvene and see exactly what we're gonna be spraying on this lawn. Okay, so I was about to mess up. Well, not really mess up, but I read on here, in case you don't know about 505, this is kind of similar to 700 Green Effect. Um, but on here, Pete has wrote, um, right here in the middle, I don't know if you can see it, but it is safe to apply as a foliar feed or root inject um, for trees and ornamentals. I don't know if you can see it in that paragraph there, but we're talking about it's it's 2.5 urea, 1.8 nitrate uh, nitrogen, and then you've got the five for um, chelated calcium. You got the three percent chelated uh, chelated calcium, and then you got five percent potash. This is the 505 stuff from GCI Turf right there, as you see on the bottle. So it's kind of like we don't want to. Basically, what I'm saying is we don't want to water that in. It's a foliar um, feed, so it lays on the plant and it absorbs it. Now we do have a dry spot over here. I noticed that going to the shed. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and do the watering part. Um, I'll probably mix this up. We'll mix up our mix and I can go ahead and spray the backyard. I think by the time I get to the backyard to do my watering, it should be dry. Uh, it doesn't take that long. And if the sun pops up, it's really going to dry it up. And then once we swap and we've got the sprinklers going back here in my backyard and go ahead and spray, you know, this side over here in the front yard. What I'll do is I'll come back after our trip on, um, Sunday evening and we'll kind of show you the results. We'll use the backyard here as a test area. You can kind of see what it's like. I'm not going to mow it, so it'll probably be long when we get back, but I definitely need to run the, uh, the ground sprinkler because we don't want to get it up in the trees, run my sprinkler back here because that's looking a little tough. And that looks like it's some of the GCI turf with some of the Jonathan Green as well back there. So that's the plan. Uh, we're gonna put, I'm gonna put some Humic 12 down, but and I know that's not, uh, that needs to be watered in most of the time. So it may get some watered in, may not, it'll be okay. And then we got the 505. I thought about adding a little bit of zero, uh, 700 green effect, but we're not gonna go that much on nitrogen. So we're gonna mix this up. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it here in the back backyard and then we'll water the front and we'll show you if there's any much of a difference after a day or two so let's see so guys we got the spray down um, I let it sit for a while what I ended up doing is just letting it I just did the whole yard let it sit for a while and now um, I'm coming back and watering so if it gets a little watered in so be it the humic needs to be watered in um, the 505 don't so I let it set for a while hopefully that will suffice 
but uh, we're now got water going on the bank, water going down here. We're gonna move it here in a minute, take care of the front yard, then we'll handle the sides in the back. So we'll come back, I will film Sunday afternoon when I get back home and let's see if there's a major difference in a couple days. Did it make this look better? Is there any change whatsoever? Um, the 505 is really just to spoon feed a little nitrogen. So we'll come back here in just a second for you and see is there any major difference. So we are down at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So from the mountains of West Virginia last weekend and beginning of the week to Myrtle Beach, my in-laws, um, my grandmother-in-law, I guess you could say, passed away. This was her home down here, just off the strip of Myrtle Beach. Um, and so we're down here as uh, my father-in-law was doing some gutter repair up here. And man, there's just like a cloud sitting right over top of us. We probably had, if I had to guess this morning, we probably had an inch and a half of rain this morning. So uh, don't wanna walk out in the rain, not much to see, but um, yeah. I'm glad we've already had our beach vacation because uh, it would have sucked if this is what we plan on going out to the beach or anything. So lots of rain here in Myrtle Beach, North Carolina. So uh, we're going to head back uh, Sunday afternoon. So let's see what that 505 looks like. Did it make any type of color difference in our lawn? Um, let's check it out here uh, for you in just a second. So guys, we are back at North Carolina, back home. Um, as far as color with 505, I know that's what we kind of been talking about. We just got back. It definitely looks like it has made the grass grow a little bit. Put it down, I let it set. Then we did a watering before we left. And uh, it, I can definitely tell the grass has grown. The color looks a little bit greener, um, not tons. And we didn't put a lot down. We only did um, three ounces per thousand square feet of 505. So the color's not extremely different. I came home to a dry spot um right here in the middle here um, i don't know if you can really see that but i've had another one over here on the right that was just the same before i left and i watered and it went away we had a rain that night it rained real hard and it went away and now it's appeared back it is hot as crap out here right now as i'm filming this it's probably a very 100 percent humidity no doubt and got to be 96 degrees um, it is hot as crap. I'm very surprised that that is the only, these two are the only real dry spots. There may be some up front, but it looks like right here. And notice it's in a shady area. Of course, it gets hit during the morning time. The sun comes up over here. And so it does get hit in the morning up till noontime before it gets the shade from these trees. So dry spots showing up again, time for, you know, I think I can see back here, even under the tree a little bit over there, uh, dry spot over there. And we did do a good watering before we left. So that may have kept it to where we don't see more dry spots. Looks like right here in the middle, um, we haven't sprayed any fusillate or anything. It just looks like right here, uh, growth has not really happened a lot here. So it could be a little stunted there. So looks like we're back to needing to really pump in some water into the yard or decide if we're just gonna let it go dormant. But obviously with the water flowing over there, uh, we're wanting to pump it in. So side yards looking really good. Uh, nothing over here. Everything looks good over here. And over here on the side, on this side, everything also is looking really good. This is, this side's really impressed me this year. I lost a lot up here, right here in front of me. Lost a lot of this last summer. And this is all, a lot of this is new grass. Um, it's doing really well. This is a spot we hit for fusillade. Remember, I think I called it Dallas grass, quack grass. I don't know what, but it looks like it is not happy and I don't see where that plant is. So it looks like it's already starting to wipe it out. Um, but the front yard, uh, besides the normal area, which I would expect to stress out right up here, top right by the road is a little stressed out. Uh, another spot that we hit with fusillades, that's expected. Um, the grass is turning brown there, but it looks mainly like it's the Bermuda there, not, if you just walked up here, like you got brown patch man you better put some fungicide down this is fusillade you can see once again it is crispy crispy um bermuda there but probably as somebody said probably needs another app to be honest with you the fescue looks a little discolored but not bad um but it, but overall um by the road you know uh, we've had some die off by the road but overall uh come back to the yard looking pretty good the fusillade spots are brown but besides that couple dry spots in uh, the backyard but the color looks good for it's blazing hot and i'm looking around and everything looks dry and desolate it's like man um 
it, it's not looking bad over here. I can't believe we brought this yard back as far as we have and uh, it continues to hang on. So we'll be watering it, but the color is looking pretty good. The 505 has added a little bit of color in. Uh, as far as I can tell, it does add a little bit of growth, which can kind of suck because now we got to mow this thing. So if you're not looking to want to mow, uh, definitely don't do what I did and put something, you know, spoon feeding nitrogen into your lawn into the summer. But in regards to Am I gonna harm my lawn, Mr. Ferguson, if I do a little bit of nitrogen? Absolutely not. Just realize if you begin to promote growth, uh, you're gonna have to get out here and mow it and you may hate yourself for doing that later on. So uh, be warned. So that's it from North Carolina. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hit the super thanks if you wanna support the channel. Subscribe, follow along. If not, that's totally fine. Uh, free content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching today and we'll catch you on Wednesday with another lawn care video. God bless, see you next time.